Hey everyone, welcome back. So I'm in North Wales to visit Prestatyn, which is absolutely beautiful, even on a cloudy day. And behind me, you might be able to see a rather interesting holiday park known as Pontins. You might remember it because I was here actually this time last year. The reviews on it are shocking. It's been voted one of the worst rated holiday parks in Wales. Is it still really that bad? Let's go and check in. See the chairs are back. Yikes. Gates across the road. Mattresses and pillows just shoved. What the hell? Here we go. Okay, so I've arrived. First thing I've noticed, there is actually something changed they have a new sign and it looks very new. The one below it still looks a little bit rubbish, but let's go and check in. Well, check-in was easy. I've got my little welcome pack and I'm in apartment 580, block 52. They have provided me with a map. I know where I'm going, I think. So it's really easy to find your way around because it's all in one big circle. As you can see from the air, it looks almost like a racetrack. I think I'm in the right apartment block. I remember getting lost actually last time. Block 52, apartment 580. I can see 581 there. And there it is, right at the top. I have no idea why someone's left their cooking pans outside with the cup. Here it is, number 580. Not quite sure how a bird's managed to splatter there, I don't know. Actually smells not bad in here. Kind of smells, dare I say it, nice and clean. The first thing that caught my eye when I walked into the apartment was, number one, I've got a TV. And second of all, that stain on the light. How on earth did it get there? So let's do the room tour first of all. I've got a dining table. The floor doesn't look that clean. Could this be a new heater or a newish heater compared to the one that I have had in the past? Now, as you know, I read all your comments and somebody said, why don't you put a stain counter on the screen? So every time you see a stain, the counter goes up. Well, we've returned to Pontins and as you remember or might remember, last time I was here, there was quite a few stains. Let's put the stain counter on the screen and see how many we get. So we've got a TV in here. No idea what this is. What's that? I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. This TV is screwed down. <laughs> it's not going to go anywhere. You can see where the TV used to be chained to the wall. But if you try to, just remember the TV is microtrip with a tracking device. This is where the electric is. And available, I've got, if you can see that, but zero. Right, stain number one. That does look pretty grim. Not quite sure what it is. I have to say, I do find these sofas really odd. They're leather and it's a sofa bed. So it's huge, so it's like a double sofa bed when it pulls out. And the same problems as I've had before with what looks like sand, stroke crumbs, all on the sofa and indeed on the floor. This doesn't class as a stain though. At least it's not broken at the side. Ah. The curtains are surprisingly in good condition. Um, they might be new. Very exotic wardrobe in the living room. At least this one's upright. Last time I was here, it was um, it was had the bottom dropped out of it. Obviously, it's showing its age a little bit with the chips. But that's understandable. So I've gone for a one bedroom apartment, just around the corner there is the bathroom and uh, the bedroom, we'll check that out in a minute. Although I don't really like this kind of frosted glass. Yes, it's brilliant old school holiday part, but it does remind me of like a doctor's surgery. So the kitchen, with the sunlight coming through, it does on the face of it, look really nice and clean. We've got a kettle, 
apart from a bit of lime scale. But check out this retro oven. This is amazing. I think this oven must be here from when? The 70s, maybe the 80s. I think my nan had an oven like this. Yeah, look at that. Look at that bad boy. Here's one of those trays that was outside. Obviously the bottom of it does not look very pleasant. So I'm gonna turn this on, this is just gonna burn, isn't it? So if the grill is any better. Actually, to be fair, the grill is okay. I don't think many people use the grill. But these hobs definitely look like they're gonna burn if I turn these on. And I would definitely want to clean all of that down with a antibacterial wipe. We've got a toaster, a chopping board, microwave, which although it does smell a little bit, does look okay. Room with a view, kitchen sink, draining board, which doesn't look too dirty. I've got my little welcome pack here. Do love these welcome packs, I always take them home with me. A very nice clean tea towel, considering you don't get bed linen, you do get a nice clean tea towel. And you get some bin bags, and the first one's actually been put in the bin. Utensil drawer, doesn't look that bad. Pots and pans, yeah, they might need a little bit of a clean before you use them. That looks like it's got mold on it, and this is, uh, yeah, a bit moldy, a bit sticky. The frying pans actually are, are okay, they look pretty new. What we've got up here, got some glasses, cups, again, you will need to wash the cups up. That's lipstick. I don't know why, this, it looks like there's lipstick on the bottom as well. The bowls, plates. My hands do feel very sticky, I'm not gonna lie. An extra storage. Let's check out the fridge. Again, the fridge is a little bit grubby. It does smell. Yeah, there's loads of stains in there. To be honest, my fridge at home looks pretty dirty as well, so I can't grumble. That's coming off. I think that if I was going to put fresh food in there, I'd have to give that a clean. It's funny, when you come on holiday, you don't expect to clean, but I think I'll have to do just a fair little bit of cleaning before I use things. Talking about how old the oven is, check out the light. I think some of that dust is old as well. Proper 60s style. So the bedroom and the bathroom are in here. Let's go check out the bathroom first of all. It's very white and very clean, very clinical at the same time. The kind of toilet roll that you get in a public toilet, but it's protected, that's the main thing. And I guess it's protected because of the shower. Could this be a new sink? Because even the sticker is still on it and it does look reasonably new. All lovely and clean and white. Nice clean mirror. Could this be a clean toilet as well? And <laughs> a little black curly hair. I can see one just there and just there. So again, I'm gonna have to wash this around and some kind of stain there. I don't know what that is. The shower head looks all right. Again, this area looks a little bit grubby, a bit dirty. Little fan heater and somewhere to put your towels. Heading into the bedroom. It smells a little bit. Now the last time I was here I had the same smell where it smells like someone's been asleep very recently in these beds but I guess just a window being open would help. Again I've mentioned this before there are a few stains on the walls it must be hard to keep up with the painting in each apartment especially when people have been sleeping in here they do slightly discolour. Once again I have to buy my own sheets you do get a duvet which is very thin which again does not smell great. These are the pillows and there is quite a little bit of hair on there. Bearing in mind that some people won't be bothered to put a pillowcase on, so they will just sleep on them. You can just see how dirty that is and how dirty this is. And I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there is um, like yellow stains on this pillow. Yeah, It's not overly bad, but you can still see it. It does smell though. There's more hair there and there's mold on the window here, so people haven't opened the windows very often, but it does happen. Let's do the bed test. Not too bad, basic. These mattress protectors are quite good, especially if people have uh, 
you know, toilet problems in the night, but they don't feel very nice to sleep on though. So I might have to get a few extra sheets, but I'm definitely gonna change this pillow. There's wardrobe space, someone's receipts, a couple of hangers, and there's also a heater in the bedroom. Again, this looks like it's pretty dirty and full of dust. So no doubt when you turn this bad boy on, that's gonna uh, whiff a little bit. In fact, I can smell it from here. Well, last time I was here, I did actually have like a, a studio apartment. This time I've gone for a one bedroom. And obviously I think generally the one bedrooms are slightly better than the studio apartments, but still got a few problems, but overall, not that bad. Anyway, let's go and check out the rest of the site and go to some of those areas that I went to last year and see if the same problems are still there. Someone's decided to leave their tea towel on the floor. Now, this is something that I saw last time that was really concerning how all these supports looked like they were crumbling and looking in really bad condition but it does look like they've been replaced unless i'm on the wrong side i'll keep checking out further there's still the same problems on some of these though the site is vast but you you can't get lost because it is just like one big racetrack it does look like all these support pillars have all been sorted out I think the windows still do need to be cleaned a little bit and there's still problems with people smashing lights in Look at the windows on there oh by the way if you're wondering where everybody is it is early season and it's the end of april so it's not overly that busy here yet hence why i got it quite cheap we'll come to the price at the end it's good to see the chairs are back not quite sure what on earth has happened here kids have been playing in that one thing I'm noticing is there's a, there's a lot of rubbish around on the floor. There's bits of clothes, like there's a sock just there. I saw a tea towel, there's a plastic bag. And considering the park is quiet, you wouldn't have thought it'd be so messy. You can tell those have been there for a long time, those hair clips. Not quite sure what that room's for, but the windows bust on it. Some got some flowers there. Whoa, what is that? Yikes, what's going on here? Now there's some interesting stuff in the windows. Maybe this is staff accommodation. So last time I was here, this was a bit of a, a waste ground. Now, well, it looks like they've uh, turned it into some kind of a dinosaur attraction, which I have seen on other Pontin sites. Whether this is work in progress or it was open and it's closed, but it doesn't look open. Maybe it isn't a work in progress. Well, you don't see that every day. I say work in progress. You can see some work's being done. It looks like a lot of these supports are being taken down and uh, being sorted out. Because I remember walking along there and it was pretty bad. The paint is still coming off up there. Let's see if they have actually replaced the netting on the basketball court, because this was looking really sorry for itself. Well, at least they've took the netting off. Well, so let's head into the Queen Victoria pub. Well, we can't just yet, because it's not currently open, which is a bit of a shame. I've arrived here on my holidays, can't go in there for a drink just yet. Mind you, what is this? It's got past six. They might have changed the sign, but the frontage still looks pretty grim. And you remember the outside of this, how grand it used to look from the movie On the Buses. Yeah, this is a place of birds, mate. <laughs> and you will check the passengers, help with the luggage, and do the commentary as required. And I don't want any goings on with the female staff. Never spotted that palm tree last time. Are they on? Are they working? Are they out of order? It doesn't say they're out of order. Oh, no, they're not working. There's an old crisp packet in there. Poor thing. There's the famous swimming pool where Olive's swimming pants came off. This is, this is currently closed. It's a shame I can't look in here, but classic holiday park swimming pool in there. Now, before you say anything, it is the end of the day, so a lot of these things have closed down. And a lot of you might be saying, well, that's a bit of a shame when you turn up on holiday. You should be open a little bit later or, you know, at least till, you know, eight, nine o'clock at night. 
Wow, I can't believe they haven't taken that down. That's still looking really bad. At least they've cleaned it up a little bit, have they? No, that still looks pretty grim. Look at the mess, why can't we just clean it up a little? I know money's tight. As you may have seen when I've been to Pontins before, the go-kart tracks are never running and the go-karts. I don't know if these have been on at all, but when you come onto a holiday park, it's never nice when you see that, is it? It's not very inviting. Let me know in the comments if you've seen this running last year or this year. Last time I was here, the kids were getting in here and just playing around in here. Although if you turned up to this apartment, look, sofa's been flipped upside down. They do have a problem with seagulls on the site as well. They are literally everywhere and they're so noisy. There you go, he's telling me off. But compared to when I was last year, you can definitely see an improvement on all the supports here. Look, they've all been sorted out. In fact, this area doesn't look too bad. They've even got little patio areas. Don't remember seeing those before. Yikes. One thing I'm seeing a lot of are pens where kids have been playing and drawing. The inflatable area. Don't know why this is all gated off. Are they new? I don't remember seeing those last year. The outside gym, that does look new. Oh no, poor Mr. Penguin. He's had his eye taken out and his belly's on display. There is rubbish everywhere though. It's a shame they don't tell you that on reception, what's actually open and what's actually closed. Like the swimming pool is closed for construction at the minute, but uh, nobody told me that. So I'd be gutted if I was here on holiday with Casper and uh, I couldn't take him swimming. This used to be one of the best holiday parks actually to go to in the area back in the 60s. Can you believe it? So this has been turned into a bit of a beer garden and they've decided just to put some gates across the road. Doesn't look like much of a beer garden, does it? And I have no idea why there are mattresses and pillows just shoved around. Why don't, why don't people just pick them up? It's a shame the beer garden wasn't moved just over there where there's a lot of grass. Though this side, the apartments don't look that bad and they do look like they've had a recent paint job, especially on the doors. What the hell? So compared to last year, there has been quite a few changes, a new sign. There's been a lot of structure work done to the accommodation as well, but there's still the, uh, the same problems as there was last time I was here. I'll let you talk about them down below. Do give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to see more Pontins videos, why not click on the screen now? I'll see you next time.